All right, guys, I'm going to show you how I got the Pinnacle to recognize the shield natively. You got to excuse the old screen. I'm at a, my grandma's house, and she has this old computer, but I have my computer hooked up to her screen so I can stream to my shield. But anyways, uh, there's Pinnacle. As you can see right now, I'm trying to clear it up. And it has V-Joy device, no shield showing up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, start the stream. I'm going to keep Pinnacle open. I'm going to... Um, Go to the shield and go to Steam. Start it up. And see, once it's started up, all you do is click the Windows key, and the taskbar will pop open. Uh, you see, the shield will quit because it needs to be in full screen mode to work, so it'll quit out. But you don't have to worry about that. When, it's, when you see the taskbar, you click uh, the pinnacle, and you'll see, um, now you see the drop down menu, you, you should see the NVIDIA shield. I usually click play, I don't think it does anything, but I do it to be safe. I click back to Steam then, and on the shield, I'll then quit it. And you'll see once you quit it, it'll have an error and it'll say uh, Pinnacle has stopped working. But you don't have to worry about that because it'll still record the shield's information. So you will close that. Re reopen Pinnacle. I'm going to download a profile. I'm going to try uh, Daisy. You see it won't show up right now, but... When I configure, it'll show up in a second. Every time with this. Alright, day Z. To be noted, I have the newest version of Pinnacle. I downloaded it today. And as you see in my uh, devices, it shows NVIDIA Shield, and, and I just have that selected, yes, install profile. And then installed it. Let me go back. Now I'm going to leave that on like that. I'm going to go back to the Shield. And I'm going to start. I can even start DZ through Steam or start it through the... Um, this way, either way, I, I don't believe it matters. But for kicks, I'll do it. Steam, I did forget to configure it so it doesn't launch when I click play. So I'm going to do that right now. I'll click the, the Windows key again. Open the task menu. Shield will quit out again like normal, but you know, just let it stay. Click Pinnacle. Before we play, let's click Shield. See, Shield will pop up and it'll show the profile. But before we play, let's go to the game profile and edit. Actually, go back a step. Edit. And make sure it doesn't launch. Okay, now I'll just click play. It'll show all the configurations and such, such, and such like normal. Now I'll just click back to Steam and back on the shield, you just reconnect to it. You see, I could use this as a mouse now, just like it should be. I don't have virtual mouse on on my pad, I never use it.
card to try to hold the camera. Click this. I was messing up my name. Alright, so you can see here, well, my character is invisible for some reason. Oh, I'm going to be in first person. But I can, you know, open the start menu now, select my item with the mouse. My game is actually retarded. Now I can take my weapon out, get it ready, hit. Run around. So you know everything works just fine once you set up the profile or download it or whatever. Obviously you have to configure the profile to get the way you like it but at least it reads it natively. Alright guys.